this is Yeti, our new dog. He's gonna be our canoeing dog. Just not on this trip. He is not ready. He hasn't seen water yet, so we're gonna give him a little bit of a taste of water first. And then we'll put him in a kayak and then move over to a canoe. But he's gonna be our our partner. So he'll be on our trips too, eventually. Checking out one of the views at Killarney. Not our campground. It's close to it. It's kind of just around that point over there. Or not that point. Not that point. This point over here. But uh, nice view. Good beach right down here. We call it the secret beach. And then if you feel like jumping for pipes there, you got that rock to jump super deep right at the bottom there. So it's nice there. Just to give you an idea of what our trip's gonna look like, we'll be traveling all the way to Bell Lake. Uh, well, that's our starting point. And then our first is, which is gonna be on red right here. Uh, total distance travel is gonna be 7.5 kilometers. Uh, the first little part will probably be just under three kilometers. Then we have three portages of 175, uh, 50 meters and 100 meters, which will take us onto Johnny Lake. We'll paddle down towards here, a little short portage of 80 meters, and then this is gonna be our first night right there. Uh, our second day, uh, total travel is gonna be 6.3 kilometers. Again, uh, back onto Johnny Lake from Ruth Roy, paddle all the way back up, and then we're gonna kind of just, uh, we're gonna be actually traveling right past the parking lot where we started. And then we're gonna end up on back on Bell Lake and stay on this site right here. Uh, from there, let's kind of zoom in here, it's a little smaller. It's a short trip of uh, 1.2 kilometers back home. Uh, and then we're all done. So that's, that's our trip, two day trip, two nights, uh, three days. Nice little weekend getaway. Well, looks like I just got something quick for the amount of time that rain's coming and it's coming quick so anyways I'm bunker down into the tent and uh, let it pass and hopefully I don't get drenched hold up just happened to come down here to check out the storm and look what I see don't get much closer than that Well, get to catch the end of the sunset right after the storm. What's that saying? Pink skies at night, sailors delight. Hopefully, that's true for tomorrow. Well, we just got up. It's uh, about seven o'clock. Super cold last night. I think it's like 10 degrees right now, so it was cold. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna be leaving. Just gonna have a quick breakfast, get off our jump site, and uh, head over over to uh, Bell Lake, and uh, hopefully all our canoe supplies are there, and uh, we'll get started. So, cold night.
Okay, here's the crew. We got Nathan, Sebastian, Vanessa, and Yannick. Those are the pedos. These are the pockets. We're racing. No, just joking. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're just launching off of uh, Bell Lake. We're heading off to Lake Johnny. Uh, to get to Lake Johnny, there's three portages, very short ones. Uh, shouldn't take us long to get there. And uh, let's hope things go smoothly. Right, Nathan? What? We're winning? Yeah. Okay, good. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small there we go so my son just reminded me that I need something to clamp onto the canoe instead of me stop battling and he battles all the time. But uh, I like this better. But uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. Because it's not always going to be Nate and sometimes it's going to be the wife. And so definitely going to get a clamp or something. Nathan are catching up. Let's go. Okay, well just ahead of us is... Uh, that big mountain over there, that's called Silver Peak. You can actually hike that. We did that, I think, two years ago. And uh, it starts off where you think, what a great hike. And then uh, the last, uh, I want to say, probably kilometer, 900 meters, extremely uphill. You got to switch back, is back and forth. Uh, awesome view. Um, I'd recommend it if you ever want to. So we're kind of going towards that, where that uh, you can either canoe and then uh, do the hike, or you can either do the hike. I think there's a spot off the highway, or from David Lake. So those are your options, and uh, yeah, so awesome hike. Just coming up on Portage number one. So you got to pay attention, uh, especially in Killarney. As you can see, they use tiny little signs and there's no saying from this lake to this lake. But uh, so just make sure you pay attention to your maps. Anyways, portage number one. Okay. Take a little bit of a view here. The water is not that bad it's actually we're planning not to swim but i don't know i'm thinking maybe a little dip after just not here and we're gonna have some lunch cheese and crackers okay let's film let's film this action shot okay okay this is a whole fudge There we go. Did it! Everybody was cheering for a wipeout, right? Oh, you were I filming. <laughs> Watch my step. So this is in between the two lakes. Reason for the four ties. Definitely can't pass the canoe through here. Yeah, so I'm, we're taking a look. So the portage is right there to get around that right there. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go have a look and see if we can do a little bit of, I wouldn't call it white water canoeing, but uh, there's a drop there. We're gonna go check it out. Yeah, a little more steep than what we expected. So uh, 
I mean, we're not going to go all the way back towards the portage. I mean, I think we can just kind of lift the canoe up. Do it. No, well, maybe over there. Unless you want to try, Nay. No? Oh, okay. Next time. Okay. Uh, we didn't pick up the canoe. We got out. Canoe went through the rapids. All good. Worked out. So literally the other portage, portage here, portage there. Nathan's going to check if he can cross that log over there. I would have done it better. Oh. He's thinking about it. Okay. Just doing a little investigating here some falls. Wow. I see this every day. Just seen this feather here. I'm not too sure what it's from. Got some cool colors though. Blue and gray. Let's see if we can figure that out later. Oh, there's lots. Arriving at our first site. Oh, big rock, big rock. Panic, panic, panic. Now oh, we're good. Okay, at our first site. Check this out. Got no choice. Nice or not nice, we gotta stay here. Don't fall. Okay, my battery's almost dead, so a quick check. Okay. The campsite, so obviously fire pit. Random person is laying there. And, uh, yeah. Let's take a walk here. I don't know where to put a tent. Maybe up here. Oh, way up there, maybe. Not an easy one to get to, that's for sure. Yeah, not even. Okay. A little higher, maybe. You know what? I don't know. Oh, there's the, what do they call that? The plunder box? Hi, right, I gotta figure this site out. Let's see where we're gonna put our tent. Well, we got our tent set up. Like I said, it was a very tough area for flat ground, so we kind of smashed all our tents together here. We made it work. I think it'll be okay. Okay, I was going to finish saying what I was talking about a while ago. Got our tent set up. We got some tired people. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go with no tarps today. Kind of looked at the forecast before we got here. No rain, unless that's going to change. It is in Killarney and it changes very quick. So, anyways, we'll take that chance and hope for the best. Tomorrow will be a different story. Jeez, I thought it was a dog. And, uh, yeah, so right now I'm just chopping some wood. I mean, <laughs> sawing some wood and then chopping. So, anyways, we've got some so far. Steaks are done. I don't know if they're good. Potatoes? Yeah, they're good. Boom. Nathan, fingers. Oh, you didn't even try your steak yet. Okay, we'll ask after. So uh, here's Sean uh, having our bear set up and uh, using a pulley. So we're hoping it 
just goes in, goes up smoothly. As you can see, it's going nicely up. No major effort. So there's a little pulley at the top here that it's being used to hold the bear bags up there. Oh my God, we gotta figure this out. Whatever this is, is super loud. Cool, buddy. Well, good morning. Just woke up, 7.30. Nice and calm. Didn't sleep the greatest, but uh, that's my fault. So anyways, day two, everybody's going to get up, we're going to have breakfast, and then we're going to we're gonna start um, getting ready to go back towards Bell Lake, and then uh, find our campsite there. It's not, probably about the same distance that we traveled today, and then uh, and hopefully we'll get there about the same time, so I'm going to it about maybe two o'clock, give us time to... I'll get ready, have a good supper and everything. So I just to get started again. Just got to get everybody up. Let them rest a little bit. It was a tough day yesterday. I hear them. Getting our breakfast ready. Got some uh, scrambled eggs and some English muffins. We're gonna have, uh, I guess, what do you call them? Egg McMuffins. We just gotta do our bacon and we'll be all set. Gotta get them perfect for Nathan. Nathan likes these, but he's fussy. And how he likes it, so we'll get it perfect for him. Let's start with Yannick. How is it so far? Great. My belly's full. I'm well rested and ready to go. Okay. And we just had a good breakfast. Vanessa, um, with her mouth full again. We'll yeah. skip. We'll go to Nathan. Nathan, how is it? <laughs> Tell us. What do you think? Honest. Honest. I don't know, I just want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian. Good. Yeah. Yeah? No bugs, eh? That's a good part. And the only part that's bad is uh, the sleeping part. The sleeping part, yeah. I had a rough night, too. I, I think don't know. They... I, I slept pretty well. I, I don't know. I, I'm feeling pretty good right now, so. Yeah? You like the scenery and everything? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just on top of... This hill, that was right by our campsite. I don't think it was this big, but it's pretty high. I don't think I can run and jump and make it. So, anyways. Okay, made it to the top of where the water is kind of coming down. See the beaver was hard at work. 
been a while since a bit has been here though. I don't know, I love that sound. Water rushing down. I'll just stick around for a little bit, enjoy this, head back. Watch this, I see a lot of dragonflies. Oh, one just landed on me. Oh, took off. Good place. If you don't like mosquitoes, these guys will take care of them. Alright, just left our campsite. We're heading off to the short little portage. Uh, just over there. And then, uh, then we're gonna head on to I want to say Johnny, Johnny Lake. So, anyways, uh, short portage, and then to the next lake. Okay, so we're uh, just uh, finished that short little portage and now we're on uh, Johnny Lake. Uh, it's going to be about uh, four and a half kilometers to get to the next portage. The next portage is, I believe, 350. Uh, that'll take us to Bell Lake. Actually, we're going to be walking right by our vehicles. Um, but that's where we're going to have lunch. Then uh, Bell Lake, 1.7-ish kilometers to get to our next campground. and. Uh, We'll camp there for the night, get ready for supper, and, uh, and then until the next day. So, be there and probably figure we're paddling about three and a half to four kilometers an hour. I'll give us two hours to get there. Ah, we'll add lunch. We'll see two and a half. Okay, so we're just coming along, and that beaver dam is not supposed to be there. So, there's no uh, ramming speed on this one. Oh, jeez, I just lost my phone. Uh, so there's no ramming speed on that one. Uh, so we're gonna have to, uh, I don't know, drag the canoe over. Check it out when we get there, but uh, definitely not on the map. Okay, so there is a little portage here, so I guess this has been a while. But that water is quite a bit higher than this. Kind of cool. Okay, so we're taking a portage. Never stand in the canoe. Okay, we're just looking at some big tadpoles and fish. I don't know how close I can get. There's the fish. There's the tadpole. Well, here at our last portage. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, last portage. How big is a portage? Uh? 300? I believe it's like 290. 290, okay. Pass me a paddle. And so we're heading back, to, I guess, right past our vehicles, and then we're going to continue on to Bell Lake. But. I think they might have Mr. Freezy there, so I think we're going to make a special stop. Something you don't get to do on a canoe trip, but uh, hopefully they have some and then uh, we can have that treat. So just put it down. We'll find out. Over there. Oh my god, this guy brought a Yeti out in the bush. This is our um, lunch. 
after our portage. It was a little shorter than I thought it was, but it was still good. So we got our chicken. Um, there's no bacon on this one, but we had bacon, cheese, tomatoes, lettuce. Anyways, really good. Easy to make. But uh, you don't want to last, uh, you don't want to wait longer than two days when you have chicken. So just keep that in mind. So we finally got to our lot. It was uh, a little bit of excitement because uh, there's a little bit of a mix up in uh, whose lot's whose. Uh, we were supposed to have lot 135. And when we got there, to our surprise, somebody was already there. So kind of had a talk with him. Uh, asking what happened and then uh, they kind of changed the five to a six and I was not happy but um, I decided to go across and see if I could find a lot I did lot 134 and uh, nobody was here so I didn't want to leave somebody else in the same situation that I am in or somebody shows up and I'm on their lot so I decided to call the park Asked them if this lot was available. It happens to be an emergency lot for situations just like this. So, and the other thing is, it is not a bad lot. It's pretty good. Um, there's lots of room. I mean, I'll turn the camera around. So this is what we got. I mean, it's not bad. So it gives me the opportunity to calm down a little bit. A nice fire pit. I mean, lots of room. The wind's kind of coming through. Not too hard, just enough to keep the bugs away. So, uh, happy with that. Sorry, I don't have my gimbal, so you're gonna probably feel every step I take. We've got our canoes down here. Right down there. It must have been when I put it on. Oopsie. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. And uh, a little bit of an uphill. Just, just keep the cup. We'll still have our chocolate. But besides that, it's good. Okay. We'll make some supper. Is the hand oak still on it? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. And then play some games. Play some bocce ball after. Hey, Nay. Uh, team, team, uh, son and father. Yeah. Right on. Okay. So one of the most important things when I get to a campsite is having a nice fire pit. So normally what I do, I get here. I clean it up, take out of all the garbage, and then, uh, you know, fix the rocks, make it all nice, nice. So I've done it to about uh, five or six different camps. Some camps were lucky we don't have to do it. Some, well, they're awful. So anyways, just let you know that I'm fixing this one up so it'll be nice, nice for the next person. Okay, there you go. All nice and clean, fix the rocks and everything. And uh, just a reminder for all, the new people that are coming out here uh, tin foil metal doesn't burn uh, so pack that up and bring it back home for when the cash crash recycling at home Okay, so here we are. We're all set for storms of all storms. No, I think it's just going to rain a little bit. But we're ready for it. Burgers are going on. Game of bocce ball is going to be going on soon. I can see their faces and their excitement that... We're playing for a bag of chips, by the way. So, And then I got my little setup. Tripping hazards everywhere. So nobody gets up in the middle of the night because it'll definitely land on their face. And those burgers are going to be good. It's been a long day. Long day. Who wants cheese on their burger? Me. Me, <laughs> Me too. It took you a while there. Yes, I'm cool. Yeah. Sounds like a storyteller. Me too. Okay.
Well, we're going to go check the view because I forgot to do that earlier. Oh, that's another clothes on right there. So, like I said earlier, we didn't get the, the lot that we're supposed to be on, but uh, we still kind of lucked out. It's not, not that bad. There's a silver peak way over there, by the way. The winds are finally starting to calm down, making things a little bit enjoyable. Oh, you're touching it. We're just doing our bocce ball. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my turn. Sorry. Yeah. Hold that. Videotape. It's already recording. Thank you. Oh, I know how cameras work. Hey. Well. You suck. <laughs> now it's to go for a second point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got two close one for Nathan. Ooh. Nope. No, <laughs> not, not that one. one. Oh, it's farther this way. I thought I was right on it. Okay. Oh, Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Off your purse. Ooh. Oh, that's. Whoa. Oh, not that one. <laughs> We're going between the legs. I like nailed the friggin' trunk. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, no, no good. We gotta get to the white. Uh. Is, we gotta watch this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna record between the legs <laughs> while recording. What? Here we go. PG-13 YouTube channel. Eh? Died. Dang. Okay, so we're just packing up our last day. Just getting all the tents and ropes and all of the stuff that's all left behind. And then uh, we're gonna head back to uh, the start. That'll be it. And uh, head back home or maybe we'll get some fish at the Killarney fish stand. I don't remember the name, but uh, we'll see if I can remember it and put it in the uh, in somewhere so everybody knows where to go it's usually a tradition go there for a little bit of fish after try to plan it for plan it for a lunch or a supper but uh, we'll see how the day goes and see if it's raining or not that'll probably make our decision for us so heading back soon leaving our campsite it was a good night rain pretty much all night but when we woke up no rain so it worked out timing was it was gonna rain it's a good terrain during the night. And if you're all set and you have your tarps, you don't wake up soaking wet. Gives you time to dry your stuff off before you leave. And you don't have to worry about packing wet. So, heading out. Just over there. Not too far, probably a 20 minute battle. Straight ahead. Rhyming speed. <laughs> we made it. Final destination. Good job, Nay. Since she did most of the paddling, because I was recording. All clear, except for that rock, great. You're good. Perfect. Good job, team. Team Pedos. Hey, that's a video. There you go. <laughs> Like
like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here 